Okay. Well, the pen is here so I could see where my end of my frame is. So, uh, I thought I'd do another feather tonight and hopefully keep my, try to keep my hand out of the way of the camera. So, we'll see if this goes better. I um, have my rock. It's uh, a fairly flat rock. Uh, I have a little base coat of a dark blue, and it's pretty thick. Um, pretty thick. Um, and I've got a nice layer on top because you want to be able to drag your thread through it. And I have six threads, and I have a uh, kind of a variegated um, deco art 14 karat gold staggered with uh, deco art bright, co bright copper. Um, and <clears throat> this is a cotton uh, thread I have. Oh, there's my hand again. So hopefully. I, I put six threads in case I decided to do um, three feathers because you need two threads per feather. And then I always have to think about which way I'm doing the pulling and which way I want the things to go. And if I want these to go, then I want to pull towards me. So I'm going to turn this the other way. So... We'll start off with one in the middle. No, I want to go the other way because then I got to pull it towards me. And you let it sit for a sec so the paint kind of bleeds out a little bit into the background and then you kind of sweep it the first one you sweep to the right or left and then the other one you'll lay it across the same line and then sweep the opposite way so this one I'm sweeping to the right and then as you bring it up try to sweep it up to the center Trying to concentrate and also not get a big old glob that drips off the end because I want to be tidy. All right, I'm going to set this over here. Next. And trying to lay it where I already was. And then pulling the opposite way. I'm right-handed, so I've got to... And I'm going to just kind of wipe that off. Because then I'm going to save this to uh, dip back in the paint and then pull it down the center to make the spine. I'd kind of like to see if I can just make two little baby, baby feathers on the side. <clears throat> which means I won't be making such long ones. And maybe not such fat ones. So I might just lay it here to get a little paint off. Let's see how this goes. Or it might even overlay the one.
kind of a light feather or a naked feather. I'm not sure which. Or I might have just taken off too much paint there, so. But since I took off that much paint, I need to kind of do it again. And so then this one comes to the center here. Okay, and the other side. Let's see what happens. I'm in, and I'm looking at it upside down, so I feel like I have a little disadvantage here. Oh, hey, babe. It's hard to concentrate. Down. This one we go to the right. Okay, and then that one's sat there a long time. It's really got a big old glob of paint on it. So obviously this, I mean, this cotton thread is nice and absorbent. And I'm probably not going to let this one sit too long because I don't want it to, um, And like the ball chain last night, it doesn't want to curve too much. Here we go. Okay. And get some of the blue paint out from this. And then and you got to get the plume going down the middle here. So. Now, I'm going to take my toothpick and I'm going to go through the middle one first. And this thread's starting to kind of fray apart because it's had so much time sitting there getting fat. So this one's thinner and I've got the other two that are kind of the smaller um, feathers. I'm kind of liking this rock. Wasn't sure with the blue background that I have to say yes. And so here we go. Okay. So 
feathers with thread. <laughs> 